Hello everyone and welcome to Veteran Gaming, I am Aaron and today we're going to talk about Elden Ring. Now I've been asked to make a video all about locking on to targets, so that's what we're going to talk about today. I got a good lock. Firing. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and pull up my system menu here and on the very first page it's going to talk about your game options. So your first option here, toggle auto lock on. It says set auto lock on to new target when former target dies. I personally play with this one on, that way I'm constantly not clicking the lock on. I can just cycle through as I need to. We also have the auto target option, which targets an enemy when attacking with no lock. That way if you get into a fight you didn't see it coming, hopefully your character is going to lock on help you out a little bit. The manual attack aiming allows for manual control of aiming of large weapons and locked on. I don't play with this one on because that's just too much for me. I'm a bit of a casual gamer so that's all I need. So once we have our settings set we're going to come out here. So the first thing we're going to do is press our lock on button which on joysticks is going to be your R3 and for computer gamers it's going to be your tab button. Okay one click toggles on, one click locks off. Simple. Also, if you're going to switch between targets, see if I can get them all in frame here. So I've pressed it once to lock onto him, and it's going to make me draw a couple extra bad guys here. So come here, buddy. We'll grab him quick. So now I have him. So once I get close enough to this other fine gentleman, come here. I can pull them both, and this demo is making it difficult for me, but we'll get there, guys, I promise. Oh, come on. Try to find some more cooperative enemies. Than, there we go. Okay, so now I'm just pressing left and right, and it's cycling between the two of them. Oh, now it's finding one guy out in left field, too. Thanks, game. All right, so here we go. Now we got our two bad guys. I'm just pressing left and right. I'm not clicking on and off, okay? And I can cycle between them as much as I want. So if one guy takes the pull position at me, he can smoke me real quick. But I can switch on if he takes a pull position, okay? So then I'm blocking or dodging or doing whatever I need to do for whoever's closest, all right? Another tip is I cannot turn the camera here when I'm locked onto these individuals, but if I turn it off, then I can just straight up turn and run. So if you're really into a fight and you don't wanna be there anymore, just click the log off or lock off again, and then you can get out of there, okay? And now I'm about to show you another tip. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but if you rest, at a sight of grace, when you're being chased by bad guys, they reset. This unfortunately resets anybody that was dead, they'll be back alive, but hey, if you're about to get smoked, you gotta do what you gotta do. So, another little tip and trick I will show you is, so this gentleman down here in the corner, he is too far, I cannot lock onto him, but if I have my bow here, you can actually Kentucky windage these targets and still pull their aggro without pulling their friend that's right next to him. So there we go. So I got this guy right here and his friend who's right around the corner over there has no idea what's going on. So if you really need to keep your distance from some enemies, but you still wanna get some aggro in, try, uh, try aiming, free aiming, and then lock on when they get closer. That's pretty much all there is to locking on, guys. Hopefully this guide has helped you and I hope you'll be a little bit more successful with Elden Ring. All right, guys, good luck.